another street fighter duel video hey guys welcome again to the channel so uh i've been talking to my friends and many of my friends and the viewers here are asking me to do a showdown uh review for the teams that i use and they're telling me that they've seen my fights and they look good and uh, they want to check if we if i can give any advice or help like from the start i'm gonna tell you I'm not the best or the most expert guy in PvP. There's another other, other players and other channels that do PvP even better for me because my account is all built around bossing and events and uh, PvE. But uh, always I'm having success in the Super Showdown and I'm reaching the almost every time the top 16 to the top for uh, 32. So if we go and look in the from the qualifier, so. I will explain my teams and why I run them that way and I will explain why I run them that way. I mean it could be logical for you to check and see what I'm doing but everybody have their preferences. They build different units, you can use different units and I will talk about them and tell you uh, how good they are. So if we go and check my first fight. So my first fight I was using something else and somebody told me that the reason I, I changed later my lineups is because a friend told me that he's betting on me and go change your lineups fix them just try to do your best and this is what i did actually and they did a mistake in the end i'll talk about it it's really stupid i hope all of you to pay attention for that so i was setting my lineups uh, in this uh, particular order in this way i was playing the flame team that i use in pve mostly and uh, the bison team which i use in pvp my main lineup when I want to go attack or battle royale, I use this team, so I, I slammed it there. And the Gal team, also for clearing stages, this is the lineup that I run, so I slapped them here. And for some reason, it worked for me, and uh, this was the outcome of the battle. Now, um, I can show you the replay here, but it's not that important. Uh, here, I start first, so I kill their team. Uh, they don't have a stunner, I have a stunner. And here, I think. Uh, I start second, I took the hit from Viper, and Viper is not 6 out of 6, this maybe crippled him a little bit, and mine is 6 out of 6, this is why I took the advantage. And I have Zangief on my team, which negate Bison's uh, passive and kills him. So I'm not gonna talk so much about this lineup, this is not the setup that I want you to have, this is actually random setup that I built. So we'll talk about when my friend told me, I'm betting on you, go fix your team, make that. And when I won, another friend of mine and some of your uh, the viewers, thank you for your comments. They mentioned like, do a super showdown, show us how your logic works and what teams you're using. So in my second fight, uh, fight uh, and this guy, shout out to him, Miura, he's a good player. I, I just went back here and I checked his fight. I checked, he has Bison on first lineup, cool, I'm gonna do some strategy to counter that, he has Viper, I'll do a strategy to counter that, and he have Akuma on the last team, and Sagat, which uh, it's impossible for me to win, so I will not, I, I will, I will don't, I'll not like put effort to the last team, I'll just slap Gal team uh, down there, and I will show you how the results went, so I went versus him, and this is the team and the logic behind it, why I'm using that. Uh, I will show it from here and I will show you the damage inside. So I use Fashion Blanca, Witch Jewelry, Viper and Summer Yang. Okay, I put Dalsim on Viper and I use Fei Long on Fashion Blanca to give me the buff of the four factions. Plus, when she hits with Dalsim Viper, she will apply the carpet, which is burn on the enemies. And with Fei Long, every single hit of burn it will uh, or anything flame damage will be increased by 15% which help both of these because they deal uh, flame damage, Viper and Fashion Blanca. So my rotation is, this is a counter Bison team. And what else better than Viper to hit the back line and a C1 from Fashion Blanca to hit the back line. So I use Super, uh, Viper, Fashion Blanca C1, then the C2 of Jury. Why? Because Jury, first of all, I use her on this lineup specifically. She has decent speed, she's not the fastest. I put fast chant on her because I want the crit on these two. And I use her C2. So she'll take damage. If she didn't die, 
If she wants to die, she will go into her cocoon. This will save me another slot for her on the for another rotation on the lineup. And I go with her C2. If she dies, or anybody dies on my lineup, except Viper, she's the main carry. But if anybody dies, I have Summer Yang in the back line. He can use a C1 or C2. So anyone that dies from a C2 user to a C1 user, he can fill the slot and he will tank up front. So I will have uh, a substitute if somebody dies. Especially against Bison team, he explodes a lot. So I need to have a backup. And I never used it. And I will show you both fights that I had with this lineup. And it always works. So that was the rotation. Super from Viper, C1 from Fashion Blanca, C2 from Viper, uh, from uh, Witch Jury, then C3 from Viper, and this is how the fight went. And as you see, Viper did the most of the damage, Fashion Blanca helped. His Fashion Blanca did a little bit of damage. As you see, Bison didn't explode that much because I wasn't targeting him. All of the others are taking damage, and then I hit Bison in the end and I kill him. Plus, I'm using Charm as in my first slot for EX move, and this is so important to use. If you know that your team is slow, and the enemy might start before you or even if you start ahead of them and they will start next after you you need to interrupt them specifically because we don't have any interruption on this lineup and what is better than having a charm and you'll see it in action how i use it and capitalize on it and i sub the combo and then i'm using some heals because i'm not using uh, summer yang in my main rotation so i need some heals and protection with shields and then i'm having damage any you can use any kind of ex move in the end to use it and let's go and watch the replay. So this is the lineup. The advantage of Sweet for me, I start with Viper, then Fashion Blanca. Look at the backline, I'm burning the backline. Immediately I go for them, Witch Jury, then uh, Viper, and I do a charm. I stop the rotation. As you see, the rotation has stopped with the charm. I know it's RNG. If it didn't work, I still win. Look at how Blanca was dying from the burn stacks on him. Then Fashion Blanca with the C1, C2 from Jury, C3 from... Uh, Viper and that's it. This is how you counter a Bison team. Even if they have B Zangief and they stop you, stun you, they can continue, they have the Viper, uh, B Zangief, Bison comp. It's worth it to run this team. We did uh, some tests, me and my friends, and this team has the most successful rate to uh, defeat any Bison lineup except if they have Akuma. That's a different story. You're, you're done for if they have Akuma. So the second lineup I'm using the bice I get I'm using the counter for Viper team and the counter for Viper team and here you can add something else. You can play uh Mad Ryu on top of Bison. It's a necessity to play Mad Ryu on top of Bison and you can play Gen on top of uh any kind of unit that you want here or you can play Able if you have uh, if you're not using Able on any other lineup to give shields and keep protecting your units. Now here I played Fashion Blanca, uh, I played Normal Blanca on him to get the the faction, but I already have it. One, two, three, four, five units, which are Thunder. I can use any Infernal if I want for that extra 10 speed, and uh, it will be helpful. Now my rotation here, and I suggest to start another rotation, and it will be better. I learned from my mistake, actually. Uh, I started with Bison, used the C1 of Elena, C2 of... C2 of uh, Zangief is super important. Then the C3 of Honda to make that wall for any kind of damage that hits me afterwards it will be negated but it's only ranged and as we see there's no ranged heroes here. So it's better for me but because Bison will be exploding so much I put in my head like he's gonna be exploding I can't use a C3. Let me use the C3 of e Honda and it worked pretty well. So the basic rotation that you need to do and I will be doing that later is start with Zangief. Now why start with Zangief? Because if you start with Zangief, if they are attacking you in their middle of their rotation, he's gonna grab somebody and slam them to the floor and deal an AOE stun. It's not always successful, but if it lands, it will stop the rotation, which is better. So start with, Biz, uh, with Zangief, Elena heal, Zangief C2 to negate a passive, especially for anybody who's on the front line. Maybe you're facing a Honda and you want to kill him just like that. And then a C3 of Honda or Bison, whichever you like. I highly suggest if you want to start use this strategy to counter uh, Viper, always start with the uh, Zangief uh, Super. Let me show you how the replay went and how the fight went here. So here, who starts first? They start first. So they hit my Bison and Zangief in the end. Bison starts. Elena heals. 
Because Elena dropped from the stack, uh, from the attack position, I don't take any stun. I negate a passive of somebody with a C2. I think they're Elena, and then a C3 with Honda. You see that wall? It helps a lot if there's a Dalsim against you or Poison or Guile. And again, same thing. Uh, Viper keeps hitting my Bison. Bison keeps exploding. And the only thing that you need, he, they charmed me even here, and we continued because the rotation of our lineup is a little bit slow. And I got stunned also. Still, Elena is healing all my lineup, Honda with his desperation, uh, Zangief with his C2, he heals himself and gains a, uh, sustainability, and Elena just keeps healing my team. So as you see, nobody died on my lineup, time is running out. Viper is dead on them, so there's no main damage dealer, it means none of my units will die, I will keep exploding dealing damage, I have more units than them, I'm keeping healing, so I will survive to the end of the battle with more units and more HP, therefore I win the fight by default. And this is what happens, the fight ends, I didn't kill everybody, I killed one unit, and which is the carry, and this is what carried me. Now again, we tried this lineup many times against different lineups, it's the most common team to survive, except if you have like a massive damage dealer to the front line, it doesn't, they don't survive. Front line will kick the ass of the front line and that doesn't work. And uh, yeah, this is how we cross this stage. Where is it? After that, we went and fought Seiya. Now here I lost and here I'm gonna tell you what's the problem. So my problem is... I switched the team a little bit, so I put somebody in top, somebody in the middle and stuff. I, I just wanted to switch them to confuse my opponent. And I don't think that my opponent even cared. Uh, the problem was that I was pushing stages and I removed every single gear of Guile and put it on my Jailbreak Cody and this cost me the fight. So if you're pushing, pay attention. I didn't know that there was a timer that you can deploy and Somebody explained it to me. I, I'm not so good with this uh, PvP showdown, but now I understand it more. I'll try to do my best in the next round, next week hopefully, and check how we can go with these uh, same lineups. Uh, I'm not gonna change them, I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna just change the rotation of Zangief team. So uh, yeah, uh, my, my Guile got one shot with the first rotation of the first combo and gave them more energy so they continued and wiped my team. If I had gears on Guile, I may have a chance, but it's a fair play, good job. He has a busted account, uh, Seiya, and really good teams. He's stronger than me by miles, so this is how it went. But, my Bison counter team worked also on his team. And his team is also great, also for the Bison team, it's the full burn team. Now, uh, let me show you real quick how my... I will not continue the entire fight, but they start. And look the one shot of my Guile, and bam, Guile died. Not even a crit, normal attack. Now why this happened? Because I, I didn't put the gears on him. So that's on me. So whenever you're waiting for this battles and playing the showdown, watch out the timer, keep your units geared. If you leave their gears, they will not register by the time. So if you have their gears on and you click deploy, and you go and remove their gears from outside not from the inside they will also remove the gears from them so pay attention don't get confused always use a fast chant on your main lineup it will always uh, give you the extra speed so you don't have so much deficit if they were faster than you you'll start after them with 1.6 or 1.7 seconds now my second lineup and as you see they have fashion blanca dalsim elena and I have the same uh, Bison counter team. If you want to use this team, it worked so much for me. I did so many tests. As you see, I one-shot the back line and I go and kill everybody else after that. And they get burns because I have Fei Long, they take even more burn. So it doesn't matter. The second rotation will 100% kill everybody. And the C1 of Fashion Blanca, look how much damage it does. Even with their heals. I got them to low HP and Viper uh, killed everybody else in the end. Yeah, this is the most successful team that I have. Uh, if you wanted some insight to the teams that I'm using, these are the teams. The last team, it didn't work against Viper here. Uh, they had Kami uh, uh, C3. It wasn't Viper C3 and Kami C3 will kill anybody. So it killed my Honda first. Then it killed everybody else on the team. What uh, <laughs> I didn't imagine that would happen. 
uh, but it was it was really good. Uh, fair play to him. I couldn't have a chance actually against him. Maybe if I switched the lineups, used him first or second, I could have a chance. But anyway, for, don't forget your gears. Uh, you can look for uh, at your opponent last fight. So if you look at him here and you, you're against him in that second fight, you can check the replay, check where the positioning is and use your uh, lineups against them like that. There's different other teams, there's the Akuma team. You can use Akuma with Athlete Chun-Li. So start Akuma, Athlete Chun-Li, Akuma, and it will go super fast. Uh, Yan and Yang are very important to use on your other lineups. I'm using them on Guile and Beast Zangief uh, team. Uh, and yeah, that was it uh, for the showdown. I hope I'll help you. I know I didn't give the best advice, but there's one team at least was doing very good against Bison teams without me having Bison on it. If it helps you, if it find if you find it successful, again you can replace uh, Witch Jury with normal Blanca. He works and he stuns. If you want to add that stun, or you can use Gen also. His C2 also stuns in the team. If you build Gen, he's perfect for this. Uh, yeah, and that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Too far